They are the faces of the missing. They are sons and daughters, brothers and sisters. Every day in the U.S., about 2,000 children are reported missing. There's still a serious issue uh, going on here. Uh, kids are at, at tremendous peril when they're away from the safety of their homes. Uh, and that's why we work diligently 24-7 trying to get those kids back where they belong. Ed Suk is the executive director of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, New York Region. He says missing children are classified into one of four categories. There are the runaways, parental abductions, non-family abductions, and stranger abductions. Though very rare, stranger abductions often receive the most attention, even though every case is serious. About 94 percent of those kids are runaways, and they've, they've left the home for a variety of different reasons. And sometimes we don't really give runaways the attention that we should in the general public. And we think, well, they've made the decision to leave, so what happens to them is, you know, it, it's something that they created themselves. But Sue says that's a big misunderstanding. But the reality with runaway kids, and that's our highest volume, is uh, they usually leave uh, because they're running away from something something that's uncomfortable or bad, whether it be an abusive situation at home or whether it be family dysfunction or, or what have you. And when they leave home, they are never prepared at all for what they're about to experience. Many end up on the streets, turning to drugs and prostitution to survive. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children makes posters of missing kids in the hopes that someone will pay attention and help bring the child home. They also reach out to kids before they disappear educating children on ways to stay safe. They're always looking to get posters out uh, on a child because uh, posters are, are a wonderful way to get the general public in any part of the country to look for that child or look for uh, the parent in a, in a family abduction or something along those lines. Just to give you an idea of the problem, in the U.S. each year, roughly 800,000 kids go missing. 20,000 of those missing kids are from New York State. And here in Monroe County, about a thousand kids go missing each year. That's a large number for a, a mid-sized community like ours. Over the next year, we'll be highlighting different cases from around our region and state, bringing you some of the cases that investigators need the most help with. You'll hear from family members who want their loved ones back and the investigators who work diligently to find them. The National Center has a 1-800 number you can always call with information on cases. It is 1-800-THE-LOST. And if you know of any cases that are in need of attention, you can email us at newsroom at rochesterhomepage.net and we'll consider them for this segment. Katrina Irwin.